that's how this particular input uh, is mapped into our main feed into production. And now we'll show you the scoreboard in action. Let's go ahead and reset everything to zero. And now we'll go to visitor score. We'll add six to the visitors. We'll add one more for a total of seven. Now we'll go to home score. Let's give them six. We'll add one more to them. That'll give them seven. Now we're going to give them six more for 13. And so forth. We're going to go ahead and show you how that quarter uh, works. We're going to change it from first quarter to half. And now we're going to change it from half to final. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Quick hitter number three. In our next episode, we're going to be doing score button automation. And this should be a whole lot of fun. It's going to be a deep dive into how to manipulate your scoring inputs to do things like display touchdown or text. And we'll also show you uh, some different effects that you can use along the way. Thanks so much for joining us today. If you like what we're doing, please give us a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe so that you'll be alerted when new videos are posted.